So I got this big old box from Big Bad Toy Store today um, with their new, I should say, return $4.99 flat rate shipping. Um, this thing's got to weigh, I don't know, 12 pounds or so. So I saved quite a bit of money on shipping. And um, with that said, let's take a look and see what's in the box, man. What's in the box? All right, so we're gonna open this rather large package up. Um, I just decided to do this outside today because it was uh, a little bit overcast, but it's actually a pretty nice night out. So rather than setting a black background, I thought I'd take advantage of this and um, yeah, so this entire shipment, including shipping, four dollars. Said four ninety nine. Four dollars to ship this. So the entire purchase was under uh, one hundred eighty four dollars. So what do you get for one hundred eighty four dollars? That is the question. We got the Mega Optimus Prime. Um, really try to just keep to one twelfth scale. Uh, the reason why I purchased this one was I had previously got the, um, and I forget the name of one, it was a full like die cast Optimus Prime, went for about, uh, I think I paid about $750 for it, um, and I didn't really like it at all. I thought it was too awkward to stand, I didn't really care for the base, I wound up selling it on eBay for almost $1,000, um, but I kind of like the scale of it, I like the detail into it. Um, so anyway, I saw this for under $200, which is a steal, and I picked it up. Now, other than pictures online, um, I have never seen this in person. As you can see, I just opened the box, so I really don't know what I'm getting into here. Um, really nice packaging, though. Oh, fancy. Some poses. I'm also actually interested in someday getting the uh, the 3A Prime. He's about $300, $350 right now, um, but I've got my eye on one. So for comparison, I may uh, may pick that up, may not pick it up. I don't know. I gotta say that is very, very cool looking. I absolutely love the color. In the inner box. Now it looks like you have to open him from a side and pull him out. So let's take a look. And now it's starting to rain. So we'll see how long we can stay out here. If the rain gets to be too much, I'm going to pack it up and bring it inside. did not want to come out. There we go. Get rid of that box. Yeah, he's packed in. Jeez. I like the way it has um, the inside shot from the, um, I forget the name of it, but the Autobot uh, ship. And you know what, at this point I'm going to pack this up. We're going to take it inside because I don't want this thing getting saturated. So we will be right back. All right, so we set up a shop back inside. Um, again, I did not set up any background, which I normally have. Um, we're getting ready to have a uh, 4th of July slash birthday party tomorrow, so all of my stuff is in the garage. Um, I did take the liberty before starting this to um, cut all the ties and stuff free. Um, I figured nobody wants to sit there and watch me 
this is really nice. Um, cutting twist ties, so. The matrix of leadership seems a little tiny, but, and I guess you have to put the batteries in it because it's not working. It's supposed to light up, but it is not. Oh, I did this cut one. Well, we're gonna get the semi cut one. Cut one, two more tickets. Alright, there we go. Let's get some of this junk cleared away. One thing that looks kind of awkward right off the bat is um, when they put this uh, fender over the tires. I don't think that was necessary. I think if they'd just done the traditional tires, it would have looked a lot nicer. But that is a minor nitpick. I'll say it again, I absolutely love the coloring that they used here. Tons of articulation in the fingers. And this is one of those situations too, I'm really glad that he doesn't transform. Um, because I think that may actually take away from it. Like if they can give him better posability, better articulation. Um, for me, with most of my the transformers I've collected over the years, I very rarely ever uh, left them in vehicle mode. I always left them in robot mode, so to make it look better, I don't really care. The stacks look really nice. Yeah, overall, this is a fantastic value for under $200. A little detail on the sides here, the inner legs, really cool. Oops, it's falling off here. Oh, let's see how that's supposed to go on. I guess maybe it was glued on there and it came undone. Maybe not. It's back on there. And to see him compared to the um, MPP-10, which is an excellent looking figure in its own right. You see the size difference now. He is um, about a head taller than um, MP1. So that puts him like several inches taller than uh, MP10. Um, I do not have an MP10. I do have an MP1. I don't have him with me. And then um, for a further quick comparison, um, I would put him in about 118 scale. I have my custom 112 scale prime. I would still eventually like to get him a slightly smaller head, but um, that's what I have for now. I actually wouldn't mind getting a set of these hands too to replace the uh, Unicron hands. 
Um, but there you go. I think he's absolutely fantastic looking. Let's get back on the focus here. Uh, I think his eyes were supposed to light up. Um, again, I don't think there are batteries in this. Meet headless primes. Here we go. Yeah, now here's the button. Again, there are no batteries in it. Um, Yeah, it just says that um, unscrew the uh, the battery box opening and put in new batteries. So it does not say anything about the figure coming with batteries. But again, for the price, go out and buy yourself a pack of batteries. To me, that's such a minor detail. There's a little block here. I'm assuming it's going to fit in his hand. And yes, there's the block. Which I always think that think that that's kind of a nice touch because he can one hand it. Then um, let's see how his articulation is for holding it. And that is just a really great looking prime. Again, my only nitpick would be, you know, the, the fenders. I don't think that that was necessary. I think it kind of took away from the figure. Um, you know, maybe one day I will get the um, 3A version. We can compare the two of them. So I believe they're about the same size. Let's see where the matrix of leadership goes. Yeah, he's cool as hell looking. I love the way he's kind of chunky looking too, which is neat. Oh, it just pops right in there. Oops. Yeah, it doesn't really want to stay in there. Good enough for governor work. Got some uh, um, ankle rocker motion there. Gotta kind of watch that. I hope someday they do. I don't know if they have plans to do a Megatron, but that'd be fantastic to see those two together. And again, a proper Megatron. Um, that doesn't transform where I think the Masterpiece ones um, fail with the Megatron. This is just awesome. Um, if you've got a spare 200 bucks lying around and you're interested in Optimus Prime, 100% um, I would look into getting this. So, as always, thanks for watching, and I will catch you later. If you enjoyed the video, please take the time to like and subscribe.